time the sun is out. Preferably not too hot, but even if it is, well, praise God. That's the last. Why we share our travel journeys, car and motorcycle shows, even just cruising around town. Life Outreach, 4716 Harrison Road. The Word of God says in Philippians chapter 3, verse 12, Not that I have already attained or am already perfected, but I press on that I may lay hold of that for which Christ Jesus has also laid hold of me. Hey y'all, praise the Lord. Welcome back to the channel. And again, if you're new, my name is Dave and welcome to God Cars and Bikes. Today we got a special guest with us from the Fab Fishing Guys. It's Tony. What's up guys? How you doing? All right. And uh, today we are going to be taking a look at his cool car. He just recently replaced uh, another car. And so we want to uh, talk with Tony and uh, take a look at this sweet ride. All right, Tony, I've known you a long time, bro. Oh, yeah. A long time. Matter mm -hmm. of fact, uh, well, ever since you were born, I've yeah. known you. So <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, that's pretty cool. But recently, you traded in a cool car or, or, or got rid of a really cool car. Yeah, it was painful, too. It was. It was painful. It was. Uh, in case you guys don't know, it was a Mercury Marauder. Yep. Very, very cool. Awesome. But... He stepped it up to the yeah. tuner world and <laughs> oh, yeah. got himself a Scion. Oh, yeah. So, why don't you tell us a little bit about this car? All right. Well, guys, this is my 2013 Scion FRS. It's a base model. Um, uh, it's automatic. I've had a lot of fun with this car so far. I bought it a little beat up. Uh, it was a minor accident down the side. Just some dents and stuff. Bumpers a little messed up. But uh, it's a work in progress, you know. Um, yeah. I've done a few things, got some wheels on, headlights, side markers, taillights. Yeah, just a few little exterior things, a few interior things, which I'm going to be happy to show you guys soon. But, so so you said you did these headlights? I did. And these uh, lower marker lights? I did, yep. So none of that is uh, factory, huh? None of this is factory. It's all aftermarket. But uh, Man, that looks good, though. Oh, yeah. This 86 platform, it's such a big platform in the tuner and JDM community. So there's so many modular parts and, like, completely different setups that are available for these specific cars. So it's a really good thing to get into if you're a big tuner guy or... You like modifications. Right on, it's right a, on. It's a great platform. Now you said 86 platform. I did. So uh, explain that to the folks at home just in case they're Absolutely. not aware of what that is. For sure. So back around 2010, Subaru, Toyota, and this brand, Scion, all got together to collaborate to make a car. Um, I can't tell you specifics on who delivered what. I do know it's a Subaru engine and transmission with a Toyota body style. I don't know exactly yeah. what scion put into it but each company has this identical car under a different badge right i think subarus were the brz Subaru's brz yeah toyota had the gt86 and the scion had the frs and the scion and the toyota were pretty much the same car just rebranded di different badges um nothing really at all design wise different but the brz right. had its own thing since it was subaru a completely different brand yeah yeah right on oh, yeah yeah because scion was a uh another company of toyota right and since uh you know days have gone by and they've closed that that mm -hmm. end down but they still have um 
their other high-end brand. Right. Um, is that Infinity? No, that's uh, Lexus is Toyota's the Toyota. Lexus, yep. Yeah, yeah. Infinity is Nissan. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, so it's one of those companies that did fall by the wayside when everybody was uh, did, yep. going down. But you said it's modular, so that means you're not worried about parts because right. the parts from, say, the Subaru or the actual Toyota brand would be the same as Absolutely. these. That is pretty awesome. Yeah, later on in the, the specific chassis life, they started to change up the designs after Scion went down up in around 2016, 17, 18. There's a lot of different designs and so certain parts didn't fit or you have to get crazy stuff done to fit the parts. And up now we got the brand new GR86 and the new Subaru BRZ from 2022. And so we have a completely new platform, pretty just, you know, yeah. same car, different year, different design. Right on, right on. Yeah, different generation. No, but they're great cars. I love it. Recommend to anybody trying to get into it. Yeah, so it's a it's a um, a inexpensive option to enter into that world to get started. It is. It's not exactly the price range you want to be looking for if you're just getting into your first car. Okay. But it's a great car to build up towards, save some money, put a down payment on. Um, I recommend it for yeah. sure. All right. What color do you call that? This, I believe, is the metallic gray. I don't exactly know the specific color code or the color name. I would have to look back into that. I had it once, but um, I saw the color. I was like, that's my color. I love it. So I went ahead and went with this one. Right on, right, right on. Well, we ready to hop in and take it for a ride? I'm ready. Let's do it. Awesome. All right, so here we are, we're in the car taking a little cruise. We're in one of the battlefields, so it's not like we're gonna uh, be Mario Andretti or anything. Mm, yeah. <laughs> but you would never do anything like Absolutely. that. Absolutely uh, not. But, uh, so anyway, so this is a nice little car on the oh, inside. Yeah, yeah um, for sure. You know, it is an automatic, uh, which in many ways is, for me, a better option right. because I'm at that age where I just like to cruise. Mm -hmm. So, uh, now how go? Well, right. to the left. Left, left, left yeah. yeah. So, uh, you said you've had this car how long now? I've had this car for about three months now. Three months? Uh, and it's really been a waiting game for me personally because right after I got the car, a lot of electrical went wrong. Yeah. Uh, my control body module failed and blew up, and I didn't see my car for about a week, uh, a month and one week. Wow. Um, so and then my keys were stolen recently and I had to have it sent off to the dealership for another week So it's really been um, a trial with this car <laughs> trial and you've been learning patience. Absolutely, Absolutely. yeah, cuz I mean you're just a young guy and young folks Aren't generally known for patience. That's right. You know, so so that's a, a life lesson you're learning Absolutely. is patience because you know my story you know, I had a ride in a Corvette when I was nine. Right. And I waited 41 years before wow. buying mine. Right. You know, that's and, and that's exercising patience. But it was also the fact that knowing responsibilities. Right. Um, and, uh, but, but, so you're, you're learning still young patience, right. which is awesome. Now, you said also earlier that this here is a work in progress and you know I think all of our cars really are you know, they no really are yeah absolutely there's always something that we can be doing to them there's always something we want to do to them absolutely so, there's plans for the future there's goals but uh, we'll take it day by day day by day just a, a work in progress as you so correctly put it and that really goes back to us and what the Word of God says to, about us. Right. You know, we're, we're a work in progress. Mm -hmm. uh, not that we have already obtained or reached the mark, but right. yet we strive. You know, right. we're, we're a work in progress. And, uh, you know, and it doesn't matter if you're a day into faith or, you know, 40 years. You know, there's always room, right? Absolutely. Yeah. It's a constant uh, process. Uh, letting the Lord in and to allow Him to do His work in you with full surrender. Um, it's it's not, sometimes things will be automatically taken. Sometimes it's wait. 
and we just have to trust that you know there's yeah. you have to fully put your trust in God because he wants the best for you but that cannot that can never come about if we're being self-centered being selfish if we don't want to fully give ourselves to the Lord then that leaves way for the enemy and sin yeah amen amen Especially me as a young person in the faith, um, this is something that I've had to come to grips with, you know, quite a few times in my in my young in my young life. Your in your young life, you, young you sound life. like you're so old. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, you're clear on my side, but all right. Um, yeah, I mean, because you know, you are in ministry, yeah. But you're still a young guy, and you have friends, right? And uh, you guys. You know, go and do things outside of the church, like you're into weightlifting. Mm -hmm. You know, um, how how does your faith uh, really um, uh, work? I guess out with with your friends, because I'm sure not everyone that you're associated with knows the Lord. Right. Um, you know, because I know a lot of people, and, and not everyone. You know, knows the Lord, but we try to show them Christ through the way, not just the way we talk, but the way we live. Right. And uh, so, how is your your faith? Uh, basically, the I guess the the way I want to word it is, how is it exercised right. on a daily basis around uh, people that you know? Yeah, um, I do my best to surround myself with like-minded people. Um, but then there are those moments in time where there are either teenagers or adults that I'm with and they just don't know the Lord. And I do my best to be the light, to be the example, um, right. to not compromise, uh, to not be the one cussing or making dirty jokes or laughing at this, laughing at that. Um, and thankfully, I've been blessed with friends who are like-minded. Uh, we all have a place to grow, and I do my, my best as a youth leader in our church to express that and to provide guidance so that they may grow um, but really it's just you know keeping your eye on the prize yeah amen. Um, because there's nothing else that we should be living for other than um, eternal life and grace amen and and sharing our faith with others right. and everything that we have is a tool exactly so your your scion this cool car and yeah, we're, we're only going, you know, 25, 30 miles an hour, mm -hmm. but, you know, it feels like it's a comfortable car. It is. And, uh, but it, it's still just a tool, yep. but we get to enjoy these tools oh, yeah. to go and talk with others right. about. And, um, yeah, I mean, how awesome is that? Absolutely. You know? Yeah, it's a, it's a really great thing. Um, and a lot of people that are first getting into the faith, like, some advice that I could give is that spreading the gospel, being a light, it's it may be difficult at times. We are always facing things, but it's worth it. Yeah, it's amen. worth the trials. It's worth the tribulation. It's worth um, the persecution. Um, and there will be that those times where we are persecuted for our faith. Um, we will be kicked out. We will be shamed. And that's just what we've been called to. Um, it's, it's not going to be easy, but just keep pressing forward. And right. Keep amen. your eye upon the cross and don't look back. Yeah, amen. And, you know, uh, faith is a thing of, that grows. It is. And, uh, you know, you, we're all going to struggle at some point or have a what, what seems to be a monumental failure in our lives. But, you know, we got to... Uh, just pick ourselves up, you know, and, and you know, get before God. Right. And because he knows, you know, hey, we're not perfect. We're, we're a work in progress, just like these cars, right. you know, and there's going to be some failures. But um, it, it's a matter of just getting back up before the Lord and, uh, That's right. and, and you know, repenting if we have to repent or confess the... Uh, you know, if we blew it or, you know, just mainly letting God know, hey, this is how we feel. Mm -hmm. And uh, and let him take care of it. Right. And that's where our, we grow. Yeah, that's it. Amen. 
All right, y'all. So just a quick little video hanging out with Tony. Uh, you know, taking a look at that cool car and uh, and just having some some conversation as we took a little ride. You know, it, it felt like a, a pretty smooth ride. Oh, yeah. It was uh, pretty pretty cool, Tony. And uh, I just want to say thank you for uh, hanging out today. Absolutely. As I'm trying to get you back in that camera. <laughs> yeah, I had a lot of fun. Uh, it was fun today. Uh, yeah, sure. and just going for a quick little ride like yeah. that and, and talking. But uh, that's what we all need is right. spending time together, like you said, with like-minded folks. Right. So, uh, all right. So let me get this camera back around to... All right, so we're going to call it a day this time for sure. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, God bless you guys. Hey, if you like the video, let us know. Give us a thumbs up. Uh, hit subscribe and the bell notification, and please share the video. Uh, if you liked it, I know somebody else is going to like it. But anyways, as I said before, you know, uh, whether we're just sharing a scripture at the beginning of a video or if we're talking about the Lord and, and the things of God in it, uh, we're trying to share the gospel. So anytime you share and hit that like button, it helps out tremendously. All right. Anyways, God bless you and we'll see you in the next one.